Okay, hello everybody. Okay, so I've been asked to do a read, a public read, on Ira Lee Briscoe. Um, the only information that I have is he's 25 years old, missing from Howell County, M.O., and he was last seen on December 15th, 2020. So that's all I have. This was a Facebook request from um, somebody on Facebook. So we're going to do that read for her. I'm going to ask if you hasn't, haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's right down here somewhere. Hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do updated reads and go live. And please give this video a like and show your support for the channel. Okay, so we're going to get into this and we're going to see what we can find out regarding Ira Briscoe. So we're going to do leading up to the day of and what is going on now. Just put up my sleeves here so I'm not constantly hitting the table with my bracelets. Okay, so we're going to ask ancestors, guardian angels to connect with Ira Briscoe and bring us what is going on regarding his disappearance. So we've got the leading up to, and we're going to ask for what was happening the day of his disappearance, what was going on around him, etc. And we're using the Oracle of Shadows and Light for the initial. We will go in and get clarification cards from other decks. about what is going on surrounding Ira Lee Briscoe right now. <laughs> okay, so the days leading up to Ira going missing, we've got the Fairy of the Green World. Now, the Fairy of the Green World usually talks about um, people who were envious, jealous, stuff like that. Um, so I think that there was some kind of envy or jealousy that was going on around him. It's almost like he either had something or was part of something that somebody else was envious of. Like I said, we're going to go in for clarification on all these cards, but I see some kind of envy going on. Somebody was very jealous of him for some reason. Okay, so the day of, I've got out, trick, or treating. Okay, so this tells me that somebody was out to get him that day. Um, somebody was out to either get him or somebody was coming for him, wanting answers or in, some kind of information. Okay, so what is going on now? I get the sea storm. Okay, this, this sea storm talks about a lot of chaos going on. So I think there's a lot of chaos around this, this case that's going on. A lot of chaos with maybe information surrounding um, Ira. I hope I'm saying his name right. Please don't take it personally if I'm not. I'm not good at names. Okay, so let's see why the Fairy of the Green World is there. Okay, we got the Three Fates. Okay, so I believe there's three people involved with what was going on with him. So I see him and two other people. Okay, and it's almost, remember what I told you with this, it's almost like somebody was envious or jealous of him. This involved two other people too. 
not just him. Even though these are females that are on the card, it, it applies. So there's two other people that had something to do with this leading up to his disappearance, okay? And it's almost like what goes around comes around, okay? The three fates. The three usually tells me three people, three things, three places, three dates, three of something, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, something three. Um, with this, it's telling me that there were there's two other people that are also involved with this somehow. So either, I don't know if this was maybe, and like I said, I, I'm not going to solidify this right now. I'm going to go in for more clarification. But what I'm trying to explain is with this jealousy and envy, this happens sometimes in like um, a love triangle um, amongst friends. But there was somebody that was very jealous. Okay. And I'm getting, there's two other people involved leading up to what happened to him the days leading up. So there's him and there's two other people. Somebody in this, this two other group here, one of these was very envious, jealous, and was almost like, um, I'm getting what uh, the card stands for, what goes around comes around. So it's almost like somebody was trying to get even with him with something, okay? So I see some stuff going on there with, and it's regarding two other people. The other people are also involved with this, leading up to his disappearance. So I'm almost seeing like, almost like a fight amongst friends or some kind of envy or some kind of jealousy, but it has to do with two other people. And one of those persons was envious, jealous, upset, mad, it's almost like in my other deck when I get the don't drink the poison type card. So somebody was showing like their true colors type thing and maybe caused a stink amongst the three of them. But I do see two other people also being involved leading up to the day he disappeared. Okay, so the day he disappeared, we've got the out trick or treating, which means somebody either came to confront him and I believe it's regarding this. So whatever this was that was going on, <clears throat> this person that was envious and jealous, had an ax to grind, something along those lines, met with him that day, came for answers, came for revenge, for something. So with that, I got the lady in a Bosch egg. So talks about wisdom. So I believe that whoever this person is, the third person in this, I think came at two of them because I'm only seeing one with the jealousy and anger and ax to grind or something leading up to. Um, I think he met up with this person and I believe that this person said or did something um, blaming Ira for something, something that was done or something that he was envious of or something that Ira had that he, he felt, and I believe it's a male, felt was his or rightfully his. And he came to confront, I think he met up with Ira that day and came to confront this situation. So there, but I, I am seeing three people involved. So I don't know who, I'm feeling like it was a group of friends. So this person, I don't know if this person came for both of them or just Ira, but I see envy, jealousy, anger, stuff like that coming to confront with receipts, like backup, like you took this or you did this or you did that and here's the proof type thing is what I mean by with receipts okay so what's going on now we got the sea storm why is the sea storm there other decks too to see if we can't pinpoint exactly what this was or what it was regarding so what's going on now 
we initially got the sea storm, okay, which talks about chaos, a lot of chaos going on right now. I've also got the faceless ghost of the haunted girl, okay? So when I get this, it's like, you see the masks? This person is almost... feeling like what they did was justified. And I'm seeing this person did something to two of them. See how you got the three and two are almost ghost-like figures now? I believe this person did something horrible to two of these people. And it was out of anger, greed, um, envy, disloyalty there was something going on beforehand that led to this happening i believe ira was confronted about things and i'm seeing that this was originally like a group of friends that had a falling out over envy jealousy anger so something happened so this person is known to ira okay so let's go to the shapeshifters and see if we can get some more information as to what this was about. Oops. Sorry, you guys, my hand is really messed up lately. To see what this is about and what may have happened, okay? So let's ask about the days leading up to Ira going missing. Why is the Three of Fates there and the Fairy of the Green World? Why are those two cards there? Can you give us some indication? Okay, so I've got the black cat in reverse, okay? <clears throat> okay, so do you remember I said about this anger, envy, jealousy, something happened leading up to this. There was some kind of falling out amongst these three friends. And I feel like one came for both of them. Um, the black cat talks about rebalancing stuff and atonement, but in the reverse, this person felt like he needed to pay for what he did because things were out of balance. So he felt like something was done to him and that's why he came after, I believe he came after, I believe this is one person because it's always showing me one except for here where it shows me the person again with the ghosts two ghosts i think this person whoever this third person is came after these two friends and they came for atonement so they they wanted this person wanted ira and somebody else the other friend in the group to pay for something that he felt they did to him but I believe this person is known to Ira. And I believe that they could have been friends because I'm seeing three. Then I'm seeing two ghosts with this one person who came for the atonement. Okay, had some fury, some jealousy, some rage, some envy, something along there. Okay, so let's see why the lady with the Bosch egg is there for the day of. So what happened the day of? Ira going missing. What happened that day with this person? Okay, so I got the fairy bee. And it's also in reverse. Okay, so upright. It talks about life being great, being grand. Um, this person feels that Ira and whoever this third person is um, made... some decisions or did something to complicate this person's life. So whoever this is that's involved with Ira going missing, I believe there's another person there too, that this, this person that did so, this person's done something to him. Okay. Because I got the, the two other people here as ghosts. So they may have all been friends at one time, but I've got two of them as ghosts and one coming and that tells me up here the envy and the anger and the whatever was going on felt like <coughs> <coughs> sorry um this guy did something to ira
and did it and may have done something to somebody else too. Felt like they had done something wrong to him and complicated his life in some way or did something against him personally. So he came to almost get even. And it's over. He's blaming Ira and this other person of doing something to him to turn his world upside down. Okay, so with what's going on now, we've got that there's a lot of chaos going on. I've also got that these people were friends at one time. And I've got two are now ghosts. So I feel like these other two people that were here leading up to, I believe they're both deceased. And here's the one guy in the middle, the one that came for the atonement, the one that came to even a score, to settle a score. You're, you're unlike anyone else. Okay, so this person is causing a lot of complexities in the case and a lot of contradiction. So this person, whoever this person is, that was this group of three over here before this happened, that came for, I'm thinking, revenge on the other two, um, is causing a lot of not only chaos and has done something to them, He's put out a lot of contradictions, so that's got to be looked at, okay? And he's trying to complicate the investigation and them finding Ira and this other person, whoever the other person is here. You see one off to the side and two together. So somebody came for some kind of revenge. Just some more information on... The black cat leading up to Ira going missing. Any other information? Sorry, you guys, that was me. This hand just is not working right. Um, leading up to mermaid in a koi pond. This talks about becoming... Um, Not becoming, more trying to just wrap yourself in your own world. So I think that Ira was just trying to distance this person, maybe keep the drama away, um, trying to rediscover his individuality type thing. He's trying to separate himself from, from this crap that's going on and this person, I think. Mermaid and Akoi also talks about becoming the dragon. So it's almost like wanting to take back control and just put whatever this is to rest. But this third person involved was having no part of that. They felt betrayed. They felt um, there was some kind of envy, jealousy, whatever. Um, so I think Ira might have tried to make things right. But this person was having no part of it. Okay, so the day of, why is the fairy bee in reverse? For the day that Ira went missing, what was going to happen? What is Coastal and the Priestess of Time? Yeah. So this is telling me that this, this guy took the opportunity to do what he was going to do. And I think he harmed Ira. Um, the Quetus Kotal and the Priestess of Time talks about, okay, the guy's a snake, okay? But it talks about it's time to act. Now is the time to act. So he took... I think he met up with Ira somewhere, maybe somewhere remote, and this was his chance to take his revenge. That's why it happened that day. I think he could have even lured Ira, saying, okay, let's meet, let's talk about this, we'll, we'll resolve it. But this was his opportunity to, to, I think, sadly do away with him. Like, seek the ultimate revenge. What's 
going on now. Okay, so I've got Alice in a sea of tears in reverse. Okay, so the feelings now, he, this person is feeling like not only was he justified in what he did, he felt like things are, have been made right now. I also got the butterfly ferrets. Talks about being reborn. So it's almost like this, now that this is done and over, he decided to do what he did to Ira and possibly somebody else. Um, he feels now like, now I can let this go. And I feel like this is a lot, there was a lot of envy, a lot of hatred there over whatever this was, an argument, a disagreement, but he feels justified in what he did to Ira. He, he can now let it go. Talking it out and any kind of apologies or making things right was not in his plans. He was out for revenge, um, which over here talked about some kind of atonement coming. So this guy, I believe that these three were friends at one time so we're going to go over a timeline now and we're going to see what happens with that i'm going to use the vampire now and this will help us tell the story as to what happened and possibly why that was me you guys or i would have kept that out oh I said, I need surgery on this hand, so that's why I keep dropping them. But if they do fly out, I will keep them. Okay, so let's go over the timeline and let's see what information we can get. Okay, so I got faith in reverse. Okay, so the trust was gone and the confidence in the friendship was gone. So this guy was losing confidence and trust in Ira and this other person. Okay, he just uh, believed, wanted to believe what he wanted to believe, even if it wasn't the truth. Okay, I've also got free will. Okay, in reverse. So I believe he trapped, he lured Ira to wherever this happened. And he did it willingly. It's like he had no qualms doing it. He knew. He knew when he set up this meeting with Ira exactly what he was intending on doing. Um, the free will in reverse also tells me that there, there's probably some kind of weapon that was used to keep Ira there because he wasn't staying there of his own free will. Okay, so that tells me that he was either trapped or there was a weapon. So he could have had a gun pointed at him and said, move and I'll shoot you. It could be anything. But once Ira met with this individual, he was not free to leave. He had no more free will. Okay, so let's see what happened after. Okay, so I got religion and it's in the reverse. Okay, so he didn't care about... You know how the Bible says you you don't kill somebody. He didn't care about that. He has his own set of rules. He was going to do what he felt he had to do to make things right in his own mind. So at this point, I don't think anything that Iris said or done would have changed the outcome of what was going to happen. This guy had already set in motion what he had planned on doing. So I think this was premeditated. And I think that there was a weapon involved. Okay, I've got eternal youth talks about energy and vitality. So he went there full throttle. Like he, he went there um, full steam ahead. There was no second guessing it. He knew what he wanted to do and he knew what was gonna happen with Ira. It's almost like, you know, when you say, you say people see red, they're in a rage. That's what this guy, this was his mindset when he met with Ira. Let me tell us what this was over. See, jealousy, okay? So 
like I said back up here leading up to, this was done over jealousy. And you see there's there's two skulls here. I believe there's another person that this guy is also harmed. And I think it's the other friend that was involved in the beforehand over here. Um, envy, punishment, changing course. So he was out to punish Ira. And I believe this person, where is it? See? The three fates. I believe he's harmed the other individual that came up in the leading up to also. It was out of jealousy, envy, okay? And he was going to punish Ira for making him feel the way that he did. He felt like Ira needed to be punished for whatever this was that Ira did. I believe that Ira knows this person and this other person... Um, I don't know who this third person is, but it's seen, I get here that they were all friends at one time. So whoever that other person is, I believe this guy could have harmed him too. Because he, he was envious, he was jealous, um, he was going to change the course of the way things were going. Maybe in the friendship. Um, but he felt that Ira had to be punished for something. Compassion, okay, was in the reverse. So compassion talks about empathy and kindness. It's in reverse. There was no empathy here. There, was, there wasn't going to be any kind of kindness. He felt that he was justified and... He did what he did. He had no. He has no remorse. And still to this day, this guy has no remorse. He's causing chaos and havoc and um, maybe making up stories. Um, but you'll find that this person is going to contradict themselves a lot. Okay? So, and I believe that this could have been a friend of Ira's and this other person at one time. So I don't know if um, Ira's girlfriend or something um, was involved or a friend, another friend, but I see a group of three. They all know each other. And this, whoever this third person is, believed that the other two did something to him. Okay, primal. Um, was also in reverse. It, it, and this is talking about, he says that they were, they, they were dancing around things. They weren't telling him the truth. He felt like they were lying to him about things. Um, almost like went against him. Okay, maybe give us an indication of where Ira can be found. Okay, I've got three that stuck together here. I got Immortal, Consuming Family peer pressure. I got nightmare. So I believe that this guy is going to be having bad dreams about this. The death that will come. This gives me no, no doubt as to what I believe happened. I believe that there was a friendship three or maybe Ira and a girlfriend or this guy and his girlfriend. But I, I'm feeling more it was a friend of Ira because this guy went against both of them, accused both of them. Um, there was some kind of disagreement, some kind of envy and jealousy leading up to this happening with Ira. He came to um, punish Ira for what he believes Ira did wrong to him. And this day, I think he lured Ira to meet with him to maybe discuss things. And he took that as his perfect time to put the punishment on him. He has no regrets about doing this. He's actually fe feeling like he's free of it now. Okay? Almost like it's off his shoulders now. Not a care in the world. But this guy is also going to be saying a lot of contradictions. So this, this person may be known to a lot of people to have been associated with Ira and this other person at one time. But this is what it's over. Okay? I've also got immortal, okay, consuming a family. So this guy might have been a very close friend at one time 
and it's almost like he's looking in his cup and his cup is empty now. Um, so I believe he, he thinks they either stole something from him or took something from him and he came for his revenge, okay? Um, I also believe that this this guy was having nightmares or is having nightmares, but this this isn't going to stop that I see this. This is a forward motion. I feel like he's just going on with life as if nothing has happened. Death will come, okay? Um, this, this is telling me that this, whatever he did is final, which tells me that yes, he has been murdered. And I believe that there's another one that he has done harm to or murdered also. Um, and this guy is in a very fragile state. Like this guy is a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. If you cross him, this is going to be your fate. Um, I'm going to go to... My awakened star seed, um, my star uh, star seed, just to see if you can give me an area maybe of where Ira could possibly be found. I'm gonna ask for three cards. For an area where we could possibly find, and we've got four. Forge, don't follow. Okay, I've got lifting the veil. Questioning everything. Deep dive. Deep dive. Deep dive. I've got a lot of water. I think he's in water. I think he's going to be found in water. I believe this is going to be in an area wherever um, Ira was living. It's going to be just outside of that area because I'm getting, if you, if you open the curtains wide enough, you can see it. So I don't think it's very far away, but I do believe he is in a body of water and he's in something. He's not just, he wasn't just tossed in the water. He's in something but he is definitely in water. Um, there's going to be some kind of weapon that was used. I, I'm getting that this water is around possibly an area where there could be, I'm not going to say mountains but hills or some kind of area where you go down a bit and the water's down there but you can see it you can see it if you it, it, like say you're in in a, an apartment building or something you open the curtains you'll be able to see this spot so i'm saying with that it's not going to be far but i've got water 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 he's in water and he's in something He's in something. So he's not just tossed in the water or by the water. He's in the water and he is in something in the water. And it's not far outside of where he lived. So I hope this helps. Um, I don't have much information regarding this case, just that he has been missing since December uh, 2020. And his name is Ira Lee Briscoe, and he's 25 years old, I believe, from Howell County, M.O. M.O., um, I believe that's Missouri. So I'm going to go on to Google. Actually, um, I'm going to get my sister also to go on Google because she's in the States. Um, she's more apt to be able to get information than I am. We've got a lot of links to certain sites that are blocked in Canada that we can access. <laughs> but I will go on to Google and I will see if she sent me any links to see if she could find anything out about that case. And if I can, it will be in the description below. Okay, so I do believe that this is somebody everybody knows. I believe that this could have been a tight group um, three at one time. Um, and this, this one guy, I think he's harmed the other guy too. Um, I believe it is three males.
uh, yes, I do believe that it is three males because it's showing me three females here. So that's three of the same sex. So I believe it's three males. I do believe that he could have done something to the other male too, harmed him in some way. Um, but he came at them for, for something that he felt was done wrong to him. There was a lot of jealousy and envy and he felt like they took something that was rightfully his. And he came for revenge and this was his way. He has no remorse over this at all. So, you know, they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. That's almost like the vibe I'm getting from this. It's almost like they were very close friends at one time, but this guy's gone off the deep end and he felt like these other two did something to him or took something from him. So he, I know for a fact he has killed Ira. In my opinion, from what I am getting from my reads, please don't come and sue me. I feel like this guy has taken Ira's life, in my opinion, from my read. And I also believe that that person has harmed the other gentleman that was part of that group. So that's my read. Thank you to the subscriber that um, asked me on Facebook to do this. Um, I hope that this brings some light to the situation as to maybe why it happened, how it happened and where he could be. Um, and who possibly did this. Um, so if you haven't subscribed again, I ask you that you do subscribe. I may do another updated read on this in, in a little bit of time to see if I get anything more. Um, so if you subscribe and you hit that notification bell, you will be made aware when I do updated reads and I go live, please also share this out where you can and hit that like button also. Okay, so thank you. Please, you guys stay safe and take care of yourselves. Until the next time, bye-bye.